more block work, start of the week. It's very grey. I think we've got rain coming this week. So, but anyway, yeah, block that up. Um, gone in the weather this. And then, just yep. got some frame fixings coming off the block work. Yeah. Putting the floor in on there now we finish the drain. Um, and we're going to start coming along here with the, through the, through the first floor joists. Um, got some flooring to go on that as well. Got some blocks up there. Yeah, loads going on. T Dog on the trowel again. Having a little burn. Right, last bit of floor to do. This is the kitchen area, and then that comes out, the back of that house will come out. And then, yeah, flat roof going on here with a lantern. And then, when it's not foggy, lovely views. Just started plying this out or boarding this out. This whole gear, the best. Right, once you've glued on top of the joists to stop them from squeaking, hopefully, once they've, they're in and they're done, uh, three screws, three screws on each joist. Do, 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 and then and cut half a board on here to stack the stack of the bond. And away you go. We've made a little platform up here to work. As you can see, scaffolds have turned up, little monkeys, so we need to get on. Just gonna put some noggins in, get this spaced properly for the uh, floor up there. They're just running through the middle. And then we're gonna beam fill that with blocks so then they won't need noggins that end because the beam uh, the blocks will end up acting as a noggin and then obviously we'll put noggins through there good little trick that from Joseph screw underneath and you Use the hammer to push the noggin up so it's nice and level. Right, it's flooring. Just going to brick these in now, get all them in, plugged in so they're all sturdy, don't go anywhere. That's noggins gone through the middle. Should be every 2.4 metres or in the middle. And then beam fill or block fill is that there, look. And then they don't go anywhere, then look. Sturdy. Um, yeah, and then that's that polyurethane glue. Put it on, it should stop it from squeaking when it goes off and everyone's moved in. And then, yeah, finish getting the rest of the flooring in and then we're gonna break out here because there's a steel going in there which is uh, that one on the top there so that's gonna go in there and then that supports the brickwork and block work that gets returned here to form the double story extension um, let me see here. and then that's the end of the joists probably paint a bit of bitumen or something on them because I'll be in the cavity um, just in case there's any damp or anything gets in not that it will but just yeah, paint some black bitumen or something on them blackjack or something and then yeah. away we go Okay, I've been 
tight. Go. Very nice action you've got going on there, Joseph. Right, got to get that top beam, which is upside down, on the floor, spun round, so it can then go up into there. And we fix it in there, and then prop it there, for the time being, because that corner's got to come out. We've got our own, a uh, pad put, a, a column put in there, and a pad on there. Sorry, buddy, it's not how, how strong are you feeling? Why? Well, because if we roll it over. Just watch your toes. Don't just roll that over. That's go, wouldn't it? Yeah. Go. Ready? Is it only? Right, ready? One, two, three. Go. Fuck me, self. There we go. Stay there. Woo. Get the bottom down so it won't roll anywhere then. Yeah, I'll come that side. Move them out of the way, now lift them up, look. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on, stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah. There you go. If I lift that up, you get some blocks under it, and you get the wheels under it, then you can't really move it around. Anything heavy, these wheels are 
the daddy. But because the steel's so wide, you have to put some bricks or something on top of it, and then otherwise the wheels hit the steel, and obviously they're not that good. But definitely need them for weeding stuff around like this. Uh, right, <laughs> poor old wheels. But then it becomes a lot. Well, get on the end of that ash. It becomes a lot easier to move. Apparently. Don't don't yeah just pull it straight don't um don't try and twist it and fall off. Obviously you need flat ground for this as well. That's a, that helps. Nowhere. That's it. More to me. No, you start going back now towards Joe. That's it. And then if you put, that's it, put that end up on on the blocks. And then we'll get the genie under it then. Come on, you're nearly there. <laughs> taking the, hold on, it's taking the wheels up and all. There it is. Right, make sure that genie's centre, obviously, with the steel. And then lift the way. Right, it's all in, bolted, level. Put it in there for the time being, and then what we'll do is we'll put, I've got some heavy duty acros, an acro down, sit it on the spine wall just to hold it, and then get, we can build the upstairs then. And then take this corner out, put the column in, dig all that out, but there's a boiler, uh, hot water tank, everything the other side of that room, so we've got to move that. We've got to build somewhere for it to go first, so a bit of chicken and the egg. But that's building.